Yo, what's going on boys? It's Chomis over here today, bringing you guys another video. Now, this video is going to be a lot shorter than the last video. Uh, this is just going to be a quick run through of my OBS settings. So many people come to my stream and they ask me like what my OBS settings are, what my game filter is, like how I get my games to look like that. So in this video, I figured I'd show you guys my settings, um, show you guys my game filters, etc. So yeah, let's get right into it. All right. So here we are in OBS. First things first, open up this settings, go to your stream. So you don't need to do anything on the first page. Just leave this alone. You can turn it to dark theme if you want to. Then go to your stream settings, service, whatever you're streaming on. I stream on Twitch server. I just keep it on auto, whatever. And then, and then you're going to want to connect to your account. So instead of putting your stream key, you guys are going to want to connect your account right here. When you connect to your account, you're able to add things like your activity feed or your chat and stuff like that. So connecting your account is the best method, in my opinion. Once you're logged in and connected, I want you to check this right here. Ignore streaming service setting recommendations. I want you to check that right there. That's the setting that I recently found out about that absolutely changes the stream quality of your stream completely. And I'll talk about that again later. Here we are in the output setting. This is just gonna be for streaming. I'm not gonna cover recording because I am recording right now and I think it would be all grayed out if I went over there. But this is gonna be just for streaming. So first things first, we'll do CBR, bitrate 8,000, keyframe interval two. And a lot of you guys probably saw that bitrate and you're like, but I thought Twitch only did 6,000. So that's what this is for. When you check this, it allows you to do higher bitrate than 6,000. And in return, you can do higher quality streams such as 1080p like I do. So keyframe interval two, preset, max quality, profile, high. I quickly also just wanna state that if you're not on an i7 or in like a 20 series graphics card, these settings are probably not gonna work for you. Uh, I have a streaming PC, so my streaming PC, the specs aren't anything crazy, but because I'm only streaming on it, I'm able to use these settings. It's really gonna vary depending on your specs. I'll get into that a little bit more later. Preset max quality, profile high. If your GPU is a little bit lower end, you're gonna wanna put main for this because putting high profile, it's gonna put more stress on your GPU. Uh, cycle visual tuning checked and max B frames too. Everything else should be. Make sure you guys have these settings. This is, this is the most important part of it. I'm not gonna to cover audio because this is going to be completely different for everybody i have a go xlr so my settings are not going to work for you for my video settings i use your base should always be 1920 by 1080 or whatever your monitor resolution is whatever that may be if you're using ultra wide put in the ultra wide resolution whatever your base monitor resolution is put that in there for your output that is completely up to you i use 1080p but depending on your computer you might need to use 720p 1600 by 900 900p i use that for a long time it looks great Downscale filter is Lanxos. That's going to be the highest quality one. Again, if you're on a lower end PC, you can turn that down to bicubic or blinear. Those are going to be your two best options. Common FPS value 60. If you're streaming on less than 60 FPS, then you probably shouldn't be streaming at all, to be honest, because anything below 60 FPS on Twitch just looks a little goofy. Hotkeys, you can skip this. Then we'll go into advanced. Process priority. I keep this on normal. I know some people put it up to high, but uh, I keep it on normal personally. For your color range, you're going to put that on full. And then I leave all of these the same, I believe. You can just copy this right here if it's any different for you. Also, back to the output real quick. You guys are not going to be able to do 8,000 bitrate if your internet is not good. I really don't know the requirements for internet, but if you don't have decent internet, 8,000 bitrate is probably not going to work for you. Just go to speedtest.com and as long as your upload is like over 20 or 30, like you should be good. Maybe even a little bit below that. You're just going to have to try this out for yourself and see if it works. I'm sorry I can't let you guys know what works for your computer specifically. This is just a broad, in general video for my YouTube for everyone to look at. And then you guys can decide if it works for your computer or not. That's pretty much it for the settings. I'm going to cover a couple more things. One being my game filter. To add a filter or make it more saturated or vibrant like a lot of people in my stream talk about. You guys are going to right click on this. Click filters. And then you're going to add an effect filter. And you're going to want to put in color correction. Okay, and then to make your game more saturated, you can just turn up this saturance vibrator. As you can see, too much saturation looks bad. Not enough saturation is basically black and white. So you can play around with this, do whatever you want. I normally like to keep it on like 1.2 because depending on if the person that's watching your stream has a saturation filter already on their monitor for Fortnite, um, your stream is gonna look really bright for them. So I keep it between like 1.1 and 1.2. That's a pretty good balance for me, I would say. You can close that. Last thing, um, if you guys go up here and click view, you are going to be able to open up this docs tab right here. And because you connected your Twitch account to your OBS, you can open things like your chat or your activity feed, your stream information, stats, stuff like that. And these you can literally drag around. I can put this anywhere. I like to keep it over here personally because I can see the majority of my chat when I do it that way. 
but yeah that pretty much covers everything guys um let me know if i missed anything i can respond to your guys's questions in the comments section like i said this isn't going to work on every computer but it works on mine and it works on a lot of my friends computers you're going to have to mess with the settings a little bit depending on your specs i can't help that i'm sorry but i hope this video helped the majority of you guys out there now remember, if you guys do want to support me, use code Zofer in the Fortnite item shop. It helps out so much more than you guys could ever even know. I'm a broke college student. Charity, I say it in every video. Thank you guys for watching. Leave a like, subscribe, drop your questions or whatever you want to say down in the comment section. I like every single comment and I try to respond to as much as possible. So if you have any questions or you want to tell me anything, comment it down in the comment section and I'll definitely see that. So thank you guys for watching. I'll talk to you guys later. Peace out, boys.